I will in this film I've got together with a group of my friends from the Association of Pole Lathe Turners and Green Woodworkers to do some blacksmithing. And this is something we quite enjoy because it's a good chance to make tools and also have a good social chit chat and well really just enjoy ourselves. And of course there's a great mix of equipment. So here's someone having a go for the first time at making a hook and I thought she did really well. A very nice hook and that's going to be a present for someone. So. It's, it's nice to see things being made and this is on my portable forge setup that I put in another film. There's always lots of conversation about what sort of tools. So these are spoon carvers tool hooks and someone here I think was thinking about making some ferrets for turning captive rings. These tools they're quite expensive to buy so you can make them fairly easily. I always enjoy watching what other equipment people have and all the sorts of things they're making. There are things like pokers. Now this is an inverter for the power supply for the fan for this forge. And it's again, it's a car fan. It's very much like my portable forge arrangement. It's a car fan powered by the inverter. And this one's running on charcoal and it's an old military type forge. It's got a leather sock to connect up the pipes. Seems to work, it doesn't seem to burn. And there's obviously a bending bar being made there. Looking quite nice. A lot of workmates with ices on them. I was surprised. This isn't terribly bodgery, but, um, well, perhaps it is. But there are workmates with ices everywhere. And here's a nice chair someone had brought along just to show what they've been up to with a nice bark seat. So a nice to see a bit of woodwork to temper everything else. So a bit more work being done here on the spoon carving knives. And they're looking nice. And I was making a hold down here for one of my Sabotier type knives, cl clock maker knives. So you'll probably see something about that in a future film. But I've been needing a couple of hold downs. Because I have a couple of knives that need holding down. So I'm just making the holes here. Um, here's a bit of, I think, toasting fork making. And this is another poker, a very nice piece of twisting work there. And a nice scroll end on it. So pretty good going, actually. This is a twibill made from an old mortar axe. So twibill used um, from sort of digging out mortises in chestnut. And that looked particularly nice. The sharp end does the cutting down the sides. The blunter end removes the waste wood. So that's a useful tool to have. Quite an expensive tool, but easy to make. And then we turned our mind to what could we actually make out of other tools. So garden shears. Why not convert them into blacksmithing shears? You get an idea, the blades become the handles and you just reverse things. A nice little selection of anvils, mini anvils, bigger anvils and even bigger ones. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the flavour of that. That's what we get up to when we do our blacksmithing. Thanks for watching.